and work the Hawa Brakatha, Yahawashah, work the Hawa Brakatha, Yahawashah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the binders to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Satan has more faith than I, you, I see. Lord, will you are edified. And this is foremost talking to the leadership, beginning with Nate, okay, because they don't push the names, all right, point blank, period. And according to John 7 and 38, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking, he that believe on me, as the scripture has said, he referring to the elect, elect, beginning with the 144,000, okay? Out of his belly, symbolic for his mind, shall flow rivers of living water, which is symbolic for what? This knowledge, okay? Now, when we investigate living, according to the Greek, it's Zio, right? Strong's G2198, pronounced as Zio. Now, according to outline of biblical usage, two way, to have true life and worthy of the name. And when we use a spiritual perspective, we can say names such as Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is the true name for the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the true name for the Heavenly Son. Having the names is an indicator that the Holy Spirit <clears throat> is working with you and only the worthy referring to the elect will have the names will use the names <clears throat> will reveal and declare the names okay according to the etima for worthy <clears throat> it means having merit all right and merit according to the same source is spiritual credit for good works <clears throat> spiritual credit for good works see us doing this work as prophets is a good work and it's also spiritual credit and within this spiritual credit the prophets will use the names and will teach the names and teach and pray and do any and every act and deed in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah <clears throat> all right now The focal point for this lesson is the devils, okay? Left-handed spirits has more faith or have more faith than IUIC's leadership. Mark 5 and 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea and to the country of the, of the Gadarenes, and when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, meaning this man was possessed. Verse 3, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with 
fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Verse 5. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And in today's time, Esau declares this as having a mental illness. No, this person or these people are possessed with demonic spirits. Verse 6. But when he saw Yahweh afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Who ran and worshipped Yahweh This demonic spirit that was within this individual. Verse 7. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you? Yahweh you, son of the Most High Power, I adjure you by the Most High that you torment me not. Meaning what? Let's read this in the NLT, verse 7. With a shriek, he screamed, Why are you interfering with me, Yahweh Shai, son of the Most High Power? In the name of Yahweh, I beg you, don't torture me. So wait a minute. A demonic spirit attempted to rebuke Yahweh by using the name. And you can't get around this precept. And Nate, as well as his faculty, don't push the name. And it's been like this for fucking years. Okay, and again, you had a what a demonic spirit, right? A love handed spirit stated verse 7 back into the book of Mark 5 and 7 with a shriek. He screamed, Why are you interfering with me, Yahweh Shai, son of the most high power? In the name of Yahweh, I beg you, don't torture me and you can't get around this the importance of having the names and again only the worthy referring to the elect will use and teach and do any act and deed in the name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah Lord will you are edified Shalom